Since it's that time of year where we're starting classes again, I figured it was a good time to show a video about how to set up your gradebook once again. I'm already in my Power Teacher Pro, as you can see, and I'm going to come down to settings, then go to traditional grade calculations. When this launches, you're going to see I have not set up any of my classes yet because I undid them purposely so I could show you a couple of neat tips and tricks. First of all, let's set up F1. We're going to hit the edit underneath the actions column and we're going to set these up as term weights. We're going to make sure that we have Q3. We're going to hit the plus sign to add two more columns. We need to make sure that all of these say term weights. You'll see that PowerSchool automatically populates the attribute for you of Q3, Q4, and E1. Q3 is going to be worth 40 points, Q4 40 points, and your final exam or E1 is going to be worth 20 points. Once you tabbed over, which is what I hit on my keyboard, as long as these numbers match, you're good and you can click save. Next, I'm going to set up my Q3. I'm going to once again head at the edit button under actions. This time I'm going to be doing category weights. Your categories will already be set up as you did this for first semester. I'm going to hit my plus sign four more times and choose category weights for each one. The nice thing is, is once you put in one, typically it will populate with the rest unless you have one that you do not use. If you have categories that you do not use but still show up here, you just need to go to categories and click disable or unenable in order to make those go away. Now at this point, I'm going to type in my percentages. Now your percentages are going to be different if you are in a different department than me. And I'm going to hit tab again. And yes, they all line up, which is exactly what they want. I'm going to leave it as calculate the overall class grade. And you can choose whether you choose to drop the lowest score or not. I do not. And then I'm going to click save. Now here's the next trick that's way easier. I'm going to hit the gear and I'm going to say copy traditional grade calculations. I'm going to say within a class because I'm doing just this first class. I'm going to choose the first class that I'm in, which is my first period CTE advanced studies. And I'm going to check my Q3 and I'm going to take my Q3 and I'm going to copy that into my Q4 and I'm going to say validate. Now this is going to pop up. I see check marks and I'm going to say copy. This is okay. Don't worry about that. Now you'll see my Q4 has checks. For E1, this is just going to be listed as total points. You can leave it at one and click save. Because we have categories across the board for departments, it's really easy now to set up the rest of my grades. I'm going to hit the copy traditional grade calculations, and this time I'm going to copy to another class. I'm in my second semester. I'm going to choose this class, which is the one I just set up. And I'm going to choose my second semester to my two class. And I'm going to select all of my second semester classes since they're all the same categories. Yes, that is an accurate list of my classes. I'm going to say validate. I'm going to scroll down and make sure I've got checks all the way down. I do. And I'm going to say copy. Now, all of my classes have been set up and I didn't have to go through each individual one, which is definitely a time saver. I'm going to show you just real quick your categories if you don't know how to show inactive. So here's all the ones that I have that are inactive. These are provided by the county. I don't want these. If I wanted to remove one, I just hit edit actions and I change it from active to inactive and then I would save it. And then I would just uncheck this to just show my active classes. Hope that helps everybody. Let me know if you have questions. Escales at WCPSS. Thanks.